Hi, today we're gonna smoke chicken on the offset smoker. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make crispy chicken and also a very juicy one. So during the video, I'm gonna show you what spices to put on the chicken, then we're gonna smoke it and then we get to taste it. So stay tuned and let's get to it. Okay, so the first step, I have here two chickens. I bought them from supermarket and by mistake one of them came already spiced up. So I'm gonna cook it to see how does it look like. Whereas the other one didn't have any spices on it. So when I like to smoke chicken from my family, I like to use just salt and pepper. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. First of all, I'm gonna cut this small part of the tail, which I don't like. And then I'm just gonna put my salt and pepper on top of it. And this is how it looks like. And to be honest, you can use any rub you like. Please feel free to experiment as much as you can. But when I'm doing it on the offset smoker, I really want to taste the smoke flavor. I don't want to disguise it with anything else. And that's the reason why I only use salt and pepper. And now that the chickens are ready, I'm going to put them in this pan and I'm going to put it in the fridge and I'm going to let it be there overnight. And yes, you heard that correctly. They're going to stay there in the fridge because first of all, that's going to help me to get the skin dry and that's one of the factors that is gonna help to get the crispy skin and today the temperature of the smoker is gonna be somewhere 150 degrees celsius and 160 degrees celsius so i'll try to keep the smoker temperature within that range and the reason why i don't like to use more heat is because i want to eat smoked chicken i don't want to eat burnt chicken and when you put the free the chicken to the fridge as i did last night that gets the trick done and I'm gonna cook this chicken until the internal temperature of the breast is somewhere 71 degrees Celsius or 72 degrees Celsius because I know that when I remove it from the smoker the carry-on temperature will finish cooking the chicken so now that we have reached the desired temperature it's a time to put chicken to the smoker and first thing you're gonna notice is I don't have a water pan because this time I'm gonna run it without it and this is the chicken, how it looks like when it came out of the fridge. So let's put it to this side of the smoker. First bird comes here. And let's put the other one bird here. This way. And now we want to insert our meat probe. And at this time I'm going to be measuring in the breast. And for the time being, we will just let it run. And in this cook, I am going to do something different than I have done in my previous cook. First of all, I don't have a water pan in the smoker because I don't want to have so much humidity. Because the humidity can really mess up with the skin of the chicken. And also, I am not going to spray the chicken with anything for the same reason. I just don't want to get that skin wet. I just want it to be dry and crispy. 45 minutes have gone by and the Heat temperature has been somewhere 150 and 160 degrees, mostly in the upper level. And the internal temperature of the chicken has risen as well, as you can see here in this graph. So normally I wouldn't check it, but because this is a video, I want to show you guys how does it look like. So come and check. Uh -huh. Wow, it looks actually very good. And you can actually see here that the fat is starting to render and this side is starting to get quite good color and the skin is starting to get crispy that is actually very good news I'm actually gonna show you how crispy it sounds like so at this point if you wish you can actually flip them if you don't want to get these areas burned but this is how I do it for my family and this is just perfect so I like to continue like this, so I'll let it run maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes more and then we will be ready. So the internal temperature of the chicken is 72 degrees Celsius and we are at the mark 1 hour and 30 to 40 minutes. I would love to show you the graph, but for some reason the app crashed and I lost all the data from the cook. But let's check the temp and if that temperature is right, then we can actually remove the chicken from the smoker. So let's see. Okay. Wow, our chicken looks amazing. It has actually gotten like this mahogany color 
and it is so crispy. But well, first of all, let's check what is the internal temperature of the breast. Let's see. Let's go with this fellow here. This is actually reading 73. So this guy is so ready to come. Okay, so it's time to remove the chicken and then I will let it rest for 15 minutes and then we get to taste it. But for example, one of the marks on how you know that the chicken is very juicy is because of the render fat. And if I take this bad boy here, what you're gonna see next, next is not water, it's just render fat. Look at that. Look at all those juices. This chicken is looking very promising. So let's try this one, which is the one with salt and pepper because it's the one I like the most. And this is the one we're gonna send to the family. Okay, so this is the best part of the video. I get to try the chicken. So first of all, I want you to see how crispy the skin is. I hope you can hear this. Yep, that is crispy. And then in order to show you how juicy this is, I'm gonna do something very sad. I'm gonna take this part of the chicken and I'm gonna squeeze it and look how much, how much liquid is coming out of it. And what you see right there, my fellows, that is just rendered fat. That is, all of this is telling you that you have a crispy skin and still very juicy chicken. But enough of the words. I have here that part I have just squeezed. So it's my time to taste. Cheers. This chicken is absolutely delicious. This is actually what I call a winner all time. If you are planning to cook something, this chicken is going to be perfect. I know the family is going to love it. And as I said, that crispy skin, it just really takes the game to a whole new level. I think it's a shame that the video camera doesn't really catch the color of the chicken. But I'm going to put a picture right here so that you can actually see how it did get somehow golden. And that's the color you're looking for. Thanks for watching. If you have any recipes you would like me to try, please write them in the description below this video. Take care and I'll see you the next time. Bye.